Deep Blue is of the class of machines uh, you'd call uh, based on brute force. That is, they try and do what computers do best, searching through millions or billions of possibilities to find the best, in this case, move. And Deep Blue is able to look at 100 million chess positions per second on average while it's computing a move. Deep Blue was a supercomputer that was designed to play chess at the world-class level. It was based on an IBM high-performance computer of the day, a supercomputer. But in addition, we added some special purpose hardware that was able to accelerate certain parts of the computation and make it vastly faster. Chess has been thought about as a demonstration of machine intelligence for, for centuries, actually. But in the earliest days of the computer era, the 1940s and 50s, they set out chess as a grand challenge. If you could build a machine that could, that could play chess, you've done something really impressive. And not chess for its own sake, but uh, as a demonstration of how to solve a difficult class of problems. Uh, at the time, uh, beating the world champion what was, in my mind, uh, you know, a huge triumph for computing. I think a lot of people had predicted it would never happen. I think that was just the first of many big successes for, for computing. It's tackling business problems, world climate and, and weather, molecular dynamics, all these complex problems. Computers of today are, are doing some amazing things that we couldn't have even dreamed of 15 years ago. The Deep Blue experience was, uh, in some sense, the first signs of, of the, the big data, big analytics, big computing uh, strategy that we now see. The application of a very high-powered computer, lots of data to solve a really challenging problem, I think, is, is what we saw. And it was followed on uh, quite quickly by the Deep Computing Institute and inspired the, the Blue Gene system, I think, uh, in order to uh, build the computers that were needed for the next generation of, of uh, grand challenges. Uh, I really identified with the team that developed Watson because uh, they went through a lot of the things that we went through. Chess is, is much simpler in a way. It's 64 squares, 32 pieces on a board, and everything's constrained. When you open it up to natural language, you, you, you make it a much more difficult challenge. The next big step is helping make this better decisions by bringing in all the relevant information, crunching through it, and allowing the human decision makers to see different options and, and what their value is. Smarter decisions, data, high performance computing, are all coming together to uh, tackle the tough problems of the world. And I think that's the only realistic way to move forward.